everyone. Um, today's topic is going to be about Curator Advisor with Watson in Automatic Investigations. So it is one of uh, Cura or Curator Advisor with Watson's best practices to set up automatic investigations. And the reason for this is that um, it saves you so much time because, um, you know, Curator Advisor with Watson is there to try to bridge the gap between uh, detection and response, meaning um, curator does the detection and then uh, resilient can do the response, but be between the detection and the response, you have to do the investigation. And so curator advisor with Watson, you know, that's what it's meant to do. It's meant to help the SOC analyst get to the bottom of that investigation. And so by doing the automatic investigations, when they start uh, their shift or they start looking at an issue, all the data uh, that they need is to get started with their investigation is going to be right there at the fingertips. And as you can see in the screen here, we're looking at an offense that's been investigated. And as you can see, it's found seven malware families, one high value asset, uh, determined uh, some minor tactics and techniques um, that are involved, right? And if you want to just click on the investigation, you're going to see all the observables. Um, some analysis, uh, and so on and so forth. And of course, you can click on the graph to get started, right? And so that's the example of what the analyst is going to have when the offense is automatically investigated. And by contrast, if I go over to another offense, there'll be there'll be a blank screen here. They'll have to investigate it and wait for the results to come back or just start diving from manually from, from the beginning. So this is, you know, why it's so important to get those automatic investigations um, set up. It just helps out, uh, like, getting everything in place for the analyst to just grab it, grab the data, and do what they do best to investigate the offense, and they have, uh, and then drive it to conclusion. So I guess the next question is, how does one set up automatic investigations for a Curator Advisor with Watson? Well, that's pretty straightforward. You click on the Min tab. And once this comes up, you scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a whole section just for Curator Advisor with Watson, and you click on Configuration. And where the automatic investigations is hiding is under Optional Settings. And right here, you can see there's a little icon for Automatic Investigation, and you click on this. And so first thing you want to do is click on Enable Automatic Local Investigation. So the first option here is investigate offenses suggested by Watson, right? And so what this will do, instead of uh, the user yourself or the analyst or the curator min saying exactly which types of uh, offenses that they want to investigate, there we have a, um, a, uh, a um, an AI that will actually suggest and actually investigate uh, offenses uh, that they deem that are should be investigated by Watson. And this determination is made by a couple factors, uh, namely the number of malicious indicators that are inside of, of the offense and the number of MITRE tactics and techniques that uh, have been found from the rules. So, so if you just don't want to go in and set certain criteria to, uh, to, um, to do automatic investigations, uh, you can just leave it here, and Watson's going to determine. Go, hey, um, I think this one's going to this one's going to is uh, going to need investigation. They'll do it for you. However, if you wanted to set your own criteria, you click on this radio button, and you have a slew of different um, of different options. You can click on uh, the different status, uh, the magnitude ranges is very popular. Obviously, you know you don't want to go too low. Right. Or you can go say only investigate the higher ones. Uh, number six. Yeah. You know, maybe you only want to investigate the ones that clue overnight um, or the ones that only have events from the last few minutes or whatever. Uh, and then but you can get down into the um, high and low level categories as well. So, for instance, if you want to do I'll just take out like an audit one. Uh, so if you click on select the fence high level cards, you start and click on you can just add it like that and just go through the list and you can pick the ones that you want. Uh, and you can do this, the specific types of offenses. 
And what a fence type, so if anyone on the call doesn't understand what I mean by fence types, this is the field, that's the fences index by, meaning when you create a rule and you, uh, a CRE rule in QRadar, and they want to, um, and you, when you create the fence, it's going to be indexed by a certain field. And so as you can see, there's tons of fields here that an offense can be, be indexed by. So if there's a specific one that you want to, uh, fence type or fence index that you want to um, make sure it gets investigated by Watson, this is where you'd select it. Um, uh, you can turn off the Watson enriched investigation if you want. I wouldn't suggest it, uh, but this, because if it doesn't do this, it won't send the data out to Watson for cybersecurity in the cloud, and I'll just do the local data mining, um, which has some value, but you'll get much more value by sending uh, the observables to Watson for cybersecurity. And if you want to keep a, uh, you know, put a maximum daily limit on uh, your, uh, how many uh, automatic investigations, this is where you do that. You can just a drag and drop, or not drag and drop, but uh, slider back and forth. And the last option is automatic reinvestigation. So what this means is uh, Curator Advisor will automatically reinvestigate offenses. Um, and the criteria that's used is that the offense has to be greater than 12 hours, but less than 30 days. And the events and flows have to have increased by at least 50%. 50 it's events or flows, not both. Um, so yeah, and so it'll just reinvestigate it. Uh, however, if there's a lot of or a lot of activity going on with Curator Advisor with Watson, meaning if uh, let's say you, I know you're having a busy day, and there's a lot of investigations, like your analysts are uh, running a lot of investigations, those new investigations will take priority over the automatic, um, uh, the automatic reinvestigations. Anyway, with that I'm going to leave it here. And as always, if there's any um, any questions on this topic, feel free to reach out and I'll talk to you later.